Hi everyone, Veronica here and welcome back. Today we'll talk about what happens after CAP. After you get your registration, annual practicing certificate, and your PIN. So the next task to complete is job hunting. I'll separate this topic into two videos. First is knowing the playing field, really just getting to know your future employers. And number two, polishing your job hunting skills. Writing your cover letter, your CV, and your interview skills. Alright, let's learn more about your future employers. First, DHB, District Health Boards. Functions include provide funding, planning, and provision of services to improve the health of their population. In New Zealand, we have 20 DHBs. In the Philippines, it'll be like dividing the country into regions. So. Anyway, each DHB may be different in size and structure. Next, public hospitals, which are run and owned or funded by district health boards. In New Zealand, there are 26 public hospitals in North Island and 13 public hospitals in South Island. Next, private hospitals, 54 for North Island and 21 for South Island. Most of private hospitals in New Zealand mostly focus on elective surgical procedures. The other list here includes hospice, palliative care, and birthing unit centers. Note, private hospitals may be smaller than their public hospital counterparts, so the job vacancies, especially for nurses, may be limited. Next, primary health organization. PHOs are funded by DHBs to support the provision of essential primary health care services. So this includes medical centers where GPs and family doctors are. In the Philippines, this is kind of equivalent to primary health centers or medical and family clinics. Next, residential care facilities. This includes rest home level of care, hospital level of care, dementia, and psychogeriatric units. Residential care facilities are usually run by commercial businesses or not-for-profit organizations like church, charities. And for the commercial businesses, it can either be owner-operator or larger businesses which operates in a region here in New Zealand or throughout the country. So examples of large businesses include Pupa, Heritage, Oceania, Regis, Ryman, and MetLife. Next, other employers and job opportunities could be in a tertiary provider setting as an academic staff member or a lecturer. Pwede rin naman cosmetic businesses and veterinary nursing and many more. So, where to check for vacancies? So if you are looking for vacancies in public hospitals, then definitely you have to check and go to DHB websites. For private hospitals, medical centers, GP practices, um, aged care facilities, then you can check um, trademe.co.nz, seek.co.nz, the provider's actual website. So there will be different vacancies available which will match your experience, your knowledge, and your skills. And for me, the most important part of this phase, this job hunting phase, is to have mental resilience. Especially if you have a classmate who has may offer na ng work, tapos ikaw nagahanap pa rin. So just remember to try and focus on your task and try not to compare your experience with your classmates or with your friends, okay? So anyway, yun lang muna from me and as always, I wish you all the best with your journey and I hope you'll have a blessed day. Bye!